And his oh, power shell. That's so cool. I love it. Power shell, power shell, power shell. This is not, not nice, you know, music. Power shell is my friend. Hey, you. Okay, stop. So, power shell is rock and roll. So, now we are going about remoting. Remoting. What is remoting? Are you happy? Yes, you are happy. You want to do remoting, okay? So just maybe take your, take the plane and go in another country. No, I'm kidding. You can stay here, of course. So say remote, remote. I want to do something. I want to connect to a lot of server and do it all remotely. I don't want to move. You don't want to move? No problem. Just look at that. I'm here on my server, okay? So I am almost over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something remoting. So it's very easy. So first, of, first of all, let's close all this. So to do remoting, okay, you have several choices. I love remoting. Yes, I love remoting. So you can go here remoting and start to do things like get service computer name. For example, DC1, this is starting to be remoting, okay, of course. But you can do a lot of remoting, you can do one-to-one, -one, like PuTTY. So, for example, you can do inter session and they say DC1. Now I'm connected to my DC1. So now I can, I can do get uh, host, for example, have information about the, uh, the, uh, the version I have. I can do um, like IP config to have information about IP config. What's the name? Okay, I'm over there. So of course I cannot do another one if I'm here because you know this is forbidden. If you do that, you start to be crazy. <laughs> so let's do exit here. Exit. So this is the first thing you can do remoting also like this. You just say, okay, I want to connect to my DC1 with this username here. Let's say training. But I'm connected with this, this user, so of course, no problem. And he's going to ask me for the, for the password. Okay, I'm connected here. See, DC. So I can say, I want, I want you to connect to all the computer I have. I just have to say, bingo, open this. And he will create some here, like directly some tab here. Now I can do what I want. Let's say, give me all your computer group or, yeah, ID group here and give me all the group that you have. So, yeah, I have it here. So, see, it's nice because if I go back here and I do get AD user, it doesn't work because I don't have the module Active Directory. See, or, of course, the module are directly on this server here, DC1. So, yeah, that's it. So inter is something very nice. Okay, now you can do, for example, um, let's say I'm going to go maybe on this one. I'm going to do a lot of things on, on a lot of computers. For example, you can say, because if I do get service here, and say like this, like computer name, and I do DC1 and, and, and this one, okay, he's, he's uh, actually taking information about all my server here. But uh, you have some command that accepts only one value. Okay, so the best thing is to use ICM. ICM is invoke. So yeah, ICM is like invoke common because if I do get an alias, ICM. Yeah, so let's do ICM. You can do computer name and now you can specify the number of computer that you want. And after you can do script block and inside it, say, say, okay, I want get service, for example. So he's going to, you know, it's nice because he's going to run it and, and just put the computer name here. So I can type all what I want here inside it on ICM. Okay, so I can, I can run even a script or I can say, give me uh, all what is installed get Windows future and let's say pipe uh, where install it. If I do that, oh sorry, if I do that, he will send me uh, all the information about all the rules and future that are installed on the two servers. So, you know, I just need to do a out file something and, you know, I have everything here. So that's very nice. So like, like I told you, so you have um, 
to, to, to make it work, first, you, mu you must know something is that, okay, just imagine, let, I'm going to go on my DC here, okay, so go on my DC here. On my DC here, like you say, like you see, um, I can do, you know, uh, like gate service, computer name, and, and server one, okay, this is the name. Why? Because, because here, where I am, I don't do anything, okay? Now, you don't do anything. Okay, don't do anything. I don't do anything. Okay, don't do anything. Okay, stop. <laughs> but here, it, it's working because, because normally we do enable PS remoting. We do it by group policies, okay? If I do that, force, he's enabling this. So meaning that he's, he's starting, uh, if I show you, if I, if I, yeah, I'm going to do like, like something like very broad. I don't know if I can do it yet. And if you do that, normally he's telling me everything he's doing. But the variables is not on. Okay, it doesn't matter. So when you do the, when I do that, he's doing, you know, his his for example, he's taking the service and make it uh, start because because of course it, it's very important. So so see how so how simple is it? Okay, it's just uh, okay, just say what you want here and and it's working. So if you don't have the right to do something, for example, you are not admin guy. Remember that when you do ICM. You have here a credential here. See credential. You can use port and uh, use SSL. So, you know this is this is fantastic. Configuration name is is gen just enough admi administration. This is something. Wow, I love it. So you have a lot of of way to do it. Credential and okay, what you want here. So, yeah, this is this is really very nice, very nice. Um, so remember, you have interpretation. You have a. Uh, yeah, remotes. You can do what you want remoting, but you must be sure that that you have the uh, you have the, of course the uh, the right to do it. Okay, you have partial for that. You have a, a group policy for that. You can do what you want here. So uh, so yeah, this is this is quite nice. Uh, something also is nice is to do like a thing like P, you know PS session. I'm going to show you. So just imagine I go back on my computer here, my cell one. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, I'm here. So just imagine I open PowerShell here. So on my open PowerShell, and and you know, like I, I told can you, I, I, I can you know, just do like get service, wow. uh, computer name, it's really and DC amazing. one, for example. Okay, I have everything. But really, I what like I can do also is, is, so if is I do to again, create like two nodes, nodes, okay, to be more more efficient and more powerful. Where I can say like solid. I know. Let's let's you see. You'll see that he's creating to drive depending on what you're talking So here, for example, example let's say uh, I have okay, the uh, first one. So I'm going to array. That's why he created PS drive. You know? And let's say this. It's very simple PS drive. Okay. okay. So remember. So if I do that. PS yeah. drive. I can do PS now. PS let's drive. say. This is session very equal. Okay. So. New this PS is session. This one. So. Okay. PS drive. Let's say computer bye bye. to be no, computer. You are more. If I do that. Huh? Something was very strong is that he created <laughs> two sessions. So okay, feel free to send you your so question to now I can my run question. Your question. A common in this session. So he will not have to. Thank you. Go bye on server bye. one, you. run PowerShell, close PowerShell, retrieve information, go on DC one, run common PowerShell, close PowerShell. Now he do it at the same time. So you can do now ICM session session. Wow, this is so powerful. Now I can run all what I need inside. And it's it's very powerful because it goes directly on the server. He doesn't have to close it, open it. So this is very, very nice. Really, I recommend you to use this, this, this way of, of working. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is very, very nice. Okay. Okay. Is it, is it clear for you? Yeah? Really? Really? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. If it's clear, it's clear for me, of, of course, also. So that's finished for this very small um, video on remote. Okay. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. So thank you for all and bye bye and send your all your questions to fluctuation.it at gmail.com. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. See you soon.